All right. Hey, I'm Jacob Law. I'm the Chief Operations Officer at uh, Stonewater Roofing, also one of the co-owners. I'm here with Colin Fox from uh, Goosehead Insurance, and this is uh, our first of hopefully many little additions uh, where we're going to bring in uh, partners or folks that uh, we normally work with outside of the roofing industry, try to educate and inform uh, everybody about some of the bigger decisions that happen in life with regards to your home, your roof, and uh, some of the biggest things, decisions we may make at times. So. Yeah, absolutely. Colin, why don't you tell us a little bit about Goosehead and Definitely. Your, your position. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, Goosehead is an independent insurance agency. Um, you know, we're a national uh, franchise independent um, insurance provider. Um, we've got 20 plus carriers at our disposal. Um, so our clients kind of get the best of both worlds. They get um, the personal service uh, from an agent uh, that you come to expect and that you deserve. Um, but then you also get a, a portfolio of carriers to choose from. Uh, the idea behind that is um, we have a broad variety of products that we can offer. Um, but then we also can give our clients some pricing stability uh, by being able to manage their insurance costs over a long period of time. Gotcha. So that would be, so if something were to happen or they needed to file a claim, they're going to come to you. I ask them to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, inevitably some people will, uh, will call in directly to the carrier. But, um, you know, we always counsel our clients to, you know, come to us. Um, in a lot of cases, we can kind of save some heartache, some time and some expense. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and then of course we can facilitate that uh, for the client. We can get them connected to the carrier and kind of guide them through that process. Um, you know, that's really the whole point behind having a personal agent rather than an 800 number. Right. Um, is somebody that you can call and go, hey, here's what happened. Um, am I covered? How does my policy respond to this? And um, what's going to be my out-of-pocket expense? So from your perspective, you, uh, someone say filed a roof claim for yeah. that matter. Um, you're going to have... Uh independent insurance company sending out an adjuster to actually take a look at that roof right and obviously you can counsel your customer on what what to look for and, and absolutely what would be required for a claim yeah absolutely um you know the first thing is the deductible um we kind of talk about you know what the deductible amount is um if they've got some minor damage they may not be in excess of that deductible gotcha. um obviously you know here in the hell belt of northeast texas uh, we get some pretty severe hail claims and in most of those cases, you're going to be well in excess of that deductible. Um, but, you know, we do ask that they reach out to us uh, so we can kind of go over the policy, get them connected to the carrier. And, you know, really, I think the, the big thing for the client is, is, you know, how that policy responds um, and, and then what their out-of-pocket expense is going to be. Yes, the carrier is going to send their adjuster out. We always encourage our clients, um, if they can, um, to consult a roofing professional first. Right. Um, if they think they have hail damage, but they don't know that for sure, they had hail in their neighborhood, you know, um, some clients have a, a really good, a new roof, um, you know, high grade shingle, it and, and it holds up, um, especially with some more minor hail. Gotcha. Um, you know, so we ask them, look, you know, rather than having a zero dollar hail claim on your policy, um, contact a roofing professional that you trust. Um, call a Stonewater and say, hey, come out, um, take a look at this, give me your opinion on it. Um, and then we also encourage them, look, you know, if, if the roofing professional says, yeah, you've got enough hail damage here to warrant a replacement, uh, we recommend that you file the claim. Um, we encourage our clients to have the roofing professional present. Yes. Yeah. Um, that way, when the adjuster comes out, your roofing professional is there, and, and it kind of keeps everybody on the exactly same page. That's that it. They're, they're exactly. Exactly. You know, I mean, <laughs> is every adjuster that comes out going to be, you know, A+. Plus? You know, probably not. Um, you know, but your roofer does this for a living. Right. You know, they're they're there. This is what they do. This is your, you know, expertise. Yeah. Um, and sometimes they can kind of point some things out that an adjuster might miss. You know, hey, um, we've got some wind damage here. We've got some hail hits over here. Right. If you didn't notice that, um, you know, take a look at it. And I know filing a claim can can sometimes feel cumbersome in, in dealing with that uh, a claim process. And so that's one thing Stonewater does try to do is walk the customer through it. We will call and file the claim with you. We'll be there with you while you file the claim to help you answer some of those questions. When did it happen? Well, right. the hailstorm was actually at the On X date, that's right. This app, <laughs> um, so that the customer can provide that information. That's and it. And be there with the adjuster as well, just so that you can point out and we can point out what exactly we saw and the adjuster can agree or, or disagree for that matter. But Absolutely. Uh, at least have all meeting of the minds at the same time. That's it. Um, and since you brought up deductibles and, and walking customers through that, I know that's one area where Stonewater differentiates itself is uh, we don't what you would call absorb deductibles, meaning tell the customer they don't have to pay for it. Or right. 
they'll get a free roof or something <laughs> of that nature. Um, so I know other companies find ways to do it, and that's not what we're here to talk about today. But the main reason we do it is to stay on the up and up, not yeah. only for the customer, but for you, the insurance company as well. Absolutely. Nine times out of ten, Stonewater is actually bringing in a couple of lines that might have been missed off, and the whole claim's a little more than what it was sure. originally. But right. So uh, I've always told customers if, if someone's eating that deductible after you or the insurance company has said it's worth this much. Um, where's that money going? You know, what Bingo. products That's are it. not wow. going on the roof. Um, absolutely. And, and you know, anytime a client mentions that, I'm like, listen, um, you know, between you and the roofer, um, I don't want to be complicit in any kind of insurance fraud or anything else. So that's exactly what it is. Absolutely. Um, we would have to falsely invoice them to actually... That's right. You're, you're building in some extra expense to try and cover that for the client. Yes. Um, and, and, you know, the unfortunate reality of insurance is nobody likes to deal with a claim, okay. right? Um, but that's what you pay the premium for. Um, and so that, you know, when you need the coverage, you've got the coverage. Um, we tell our clients when we sell the policy, look, the best way to look at a deductible, that's your self-insured amount. Right? right. Anything up to that amount is going to be an out-of-pocket expense. Anything over that is where the insurance company comes right. in. Right. And so that's why some smaller claims probably not going to be worth filing. Right. Okay. Um, but certainly, if anybody tells you, no different than your car. Insurance. Oh no, absolutely. I usually try to create yeah. the car insurance because people understand that. That's They've it. They've been in a fender bender. They know someone that has. Right. Hasn't. You got a deductible. The process is the same. You have that a is, deductible. That's it. Is it only a two hundred dollar repair? Well, you, your deductible is five hundred. Bingo. So Bingo. No, no need to file a claim. Yeah, that door ding may not uh, may not be something that you want to claim. And, and similarly, if you just have a limb fall and you know damage a small portion of the roof, it, right. it may not be in excess of that deductible. Um, yeah, if it's total, then absolutely. You pay your deductible. Usually, folks just go drop their car off, come pick it up when it's ready, and pay their deductible and walk away. That's it. So. That's it. Absolutely, and, and I think a common mis misconception in insurance is is that you have to pay a deductible to make a claim, yeah. and that's not how it works. You know, a deductible is going to be withheld from that claim payment. Um, and specifically, when it comes to uh, what's known as an act of God, to, such as storm damage, yes. hail, wind, limb coming down from a live tree, and things of that nature. Um, in the state of Texas, according to the Department of Insurance, there's no repercussions for filing that's right. that claim. Absolutely, Whether it end up being paid or not. Unlike, say, Bingo. your hot water heater busted and right. you found out it's 20 years old and you needed to replace exactly. it. Exactly. And, and those things can make your insurance more expensive. Right. But like you said, you know, an act of God, force majeure, whatever you want to call it, you know, those claims are not held against you. A lot of people think, well, if I have to make a roof claim, my insurance is going to go up. Right. That's yeah. not the case. The now, look. Across the state of Texas, we have a lot of catastrophes, and so insurance rates trend up over time anyway because carriers kind of absorb, you know, so many losses, and then they adjust their rates. Um, and so rates do trend up, but are you specifically going to be targeted for a rate um, increase because of that claim? Absolutely not. Um, not when it comes to something like that. And now that we've talked about customers having to spend money, um, what are some of the ways they can actually save with regards to their roof? Uh, with, with the insurance company. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you one thing that we run into um, a lot is that certain types of roofs um, are going to be rated differently. Um, they can also affect your eligibility right. when it comes to whether or not a carrier will cover your home. Right. Um, so, you know, some carriers and, you know, a lot of clients think that a metal roof is going to be a benefit to them. Right. Um, and, and in a lot of cases, it's not. I mean, out of our 22 plus carriers that we work with, we have two handfuls that won't take a metal roof. A lot of times, unless it's ripped off. That's it. Covered. That's it. And, and or they'll exclude, they'll exclude for cosmetic damage. Right. You know, so if there's not any structural damage, it's just cosmetic, then, you know, they won't pay that claim. Um, and then you've got a roof that looks like the outside of a golf ball. Gotcha. You know, um, how great was that? <laughs> um, you know, and, and carriers understand the, re the issue with metal roofs is, is that they're more expensive to replace. Right. Um, and, and they have some other issues uh, that kind of come with them. To, to hell that's it. That that's it. it. Um, yeah. So with regard, you, you mentioned classes. So outside mm -hmm. of metal, um, I know there's there's class one through four, mm -hmm. and class four being the uh, what we know to believe. Uh, what we know is that a class four can get you a larger discount on your sure. overall premium. Sure. Um, you have so to be able to prove it. Right. You know, and, and that's the thing. It has to be properly rated. Um, to get that discount, um, and a lot of carriers will offer um, some additional savings we on that. Offer, we, we do mostly gaffers, GAF, mm -hmm. and uh, they have an armor shield product that is uh, impact resistant, SBS modified, and it's rated class four for that reason. And, and usually the carriers will send us a letter saying 
what did you put on the yes. Um But I've heard upwards of, of anywhere from 15 to 18, yeah. even over 20%. Yeah, up to 20%. Um, and it definitely can be. Um, and it's important to share that information with us. Right. You know, if you That's decide fine. to go back, you know, because the carrier's only going to pay to replace what you had. Exactly. Right, so if you had a 20-year, you know, flat look shingle, um, that's what the carrier's going to pay you to replace. Now, you may decide at your own expense to pay that difference to upgrade, yeah. right, um, to help with future expenses um, when it comes to claims and avoiding those things. And so, you know, our carrier's just going to assume you're going to go back with what you had right. until they get that invoice from the, um, you know, the client or the roofer that says, hey, we went back with this kind of roof. You know, if it's rated, share that with us. Right. The carrier's not just going to give money away, Absolutely. right? Um, but if the client goes through the time and expense to, you know, pay for a roof that is rated, share that with that us. Anyway. Absolutely. Something, God forbid, a tornado came through. You want, you to, want to be compensated for, for yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, no, exactly. That makes a lot of sense. And uh, I, I know my aunt was one that was able to get a reduction on her premium as well. Um, I, I want to say she got a smaller home. It was about uh, 80 to $100 a month. But uh, I that's, can tell you. Um, that's big time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's a big time savings for sure. It really is. And I think I've, my, my premium is somewhere in the neighborhood of $2,500 a year or so. And, and you talk and about 15 to 20 percent. Yep. It uh, makes up for it. Not only that, but if it's something that's truly going to hold up to a, 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 a hailstorm. That's it. And now I'm, I've made that savings, but I'm also not going to have to pay my deductible. It's Bingo. Get a new roof Bingo. Back. Long term. So um, they give the discount. <laughs> that's it. Long term, you're coming out ahead right. um, in a lot of cases between the savings and then avoiding future claims. Awesome. Yep. Well, I don't want to take up too much more time here. I see I had a few more questions. Did you have anything else you wanted to add? Um, no, I just, I think the big thing um, for clients, uh, especially on new home purchases. Okay. Um, and that's probably where you get a lot of your clients. Isn't you know, we, we work from the home out. Buying. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we work with a lot of um, mortgage and real estate professionals. And so, you know, a majority of our clients come in when they're buying a home. And, and I would say this, um, do your due diligence on the front end um, when, you're, when you're looking to purchase a home. Um, make sure that roof is in good condition. Consult a roofing professional. Um, you know, a home inspector, when you're buying a home, is going to give you an opinion on what they feel like the life expectancy of your roof is, and they may point out hail damage. Right. Um, but they're going to be real careful not to say, hey, this roof needs to be replaced, that of kind of thing. from home inspectors saying, can you come now while I'm here? Yes. I'm not sure what I see. Or like you said, just that vague note on the Exactly, report. yeah, last you third of its life, right? And, and the important thing is carriers here are very savvy to this. They know roofs are the first thing that they end up paying out on in most cases here in, in Northeast Texas. So they're very sensitive to current roof condition. What you don't want to find yourself in the position of is, is you buy this house, um, it's now yours, and your insurance company comes out that first 30 days after the effective date and they say, hey, this roof is damaged or deteriorated and it's not insurable. And now your policy is set for cancellation 60 right. days from your effective date and you're either on the hook for a roof right. Um, or you're trying to find a carrier that will cover it. Um, and, and you don't want to find yourself in the, yeah, to potentially go back and have to make a claim, that kind of, so upfront, do your due diligence. Um, you know, in addition to your normal home inspection, um, please consult a roofing professional if there's any question. Now look, if the roof was replaced last year, probably not as much of an issue for you. That's right, and if your roof was replaced last year, tell your insurance professional because right. have proof of that. In, in most cases if it's been replaced in the last five years I've got carriers that are going to give you discounts and, and it's significant with some I have one carrier that been replaced in the last five years you get a 20 percent discount if we can show them an invoice or some kind right. of proof that it's been replaced in the last five years because they know the likelihood that they're going to be on the hook for that in the first five years of the policy is greatly reduced by the fact that it's gotcha. been replaced so, you know, in addition to that deterioration, right? I mean, if the roof is deteriorated because it's 20 years old, you know, look, deterioration is not a covered peril in an insurance policy, right? Wear and tear, defect, deterioration are not covered perils. And, and so you want, don't want to inherit, inherit um, you know, issues, right? Um, that's it. And, and they know. The reason they have an issue with the deteriorated, you know, roof is that they know, um, the next good hailstorm that we get, it's much more likely to allow you know a hailstone to penetrate and cause interior water damage and some of these other things they're that can happen. And they're paying for it right off the bat. Right. Um, you got granule loss and some of these other things that are common on an older roof. I mean, you know, just do your due diligence. Make sure that you don't put yourself in a position, you know, after you've bought the home, right. where so you're in a tough spot. Is, is the largest piece of the home. The home being one of the largest investments you, you may Absolutely. Make. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, there uh, there are cool. there are ways to save money, um, you know, when buying a home, but shorting yourself on insurance right. and not doing your due diligence and your homework, you know, by consulting a roof professional, um, just aren't advisable things. Well, and I'm glad you said shorting yourself, and for the sake of time, I'll just throw it out there that if you're looking for a new policy or buying a home or something, simply ask the difference between an ACV policy and a recoverable policy. We'll make that a whole nother segment, but we have customers <laughs> all the time that didn't realize they had an ACV. They knew they had a great premium, right? But insurance and actually that's, isn't paying for them. And that's <laughs> amen. I, I see it all the time. That's how they save the money. Or you have carriers that go to a graduated roof schedule right. where it gets to a certain age and they no longer pay the full cost to replace it. That. And they didn't know that. They just knew that. Hey, I had this great premium, and you know, a lot of times with insurance, you get what you pay for. So just ask that question. You yep. want an RCV versus You want a replacement cost it's policy. Worth a few more dollars oh gosh, yeah. And it's usually not much. Right. Replacement cost on the dwelling, ten to fifty bucks. Well and the cost is going up too, just uh, even from a roofing perspective, which is why insurance costs go up. But uh, I had a customer tell me I pulled out the receipt and showed me I had this roof replaced twelve some odd years ago for eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars. The insurance showed up and it was over fourteen, almost double what it was yep. 10 years ago to get the roof replaced. It's tremendous. Um, you know, the average roof cost, I mean, just keeps going up every year. And as we continue to have these hail catastrophes, I mean, that cost is going to continue to rise and, and premiums over time continue to rise. And that's why I'd say, you know, other than working with a true roofing professional, you also need to work with an insurance professional. Um, I would encourage you to work with an independent um, like Goosehead that can offer you multiple carrier options. And they're a little more motivated to keep your business as well. Absolutely. Service, take care of you. You're not just another one. And Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's, you don't want to get lost in the shuffle. Right. Um, you know, you want to have a personal agent who can advise you on these things when it's time to use your insurance. But you want to have choice. Um, and and that, that's huge. Um, rather than the client having to take that ride with a carrier like you would with a captive like Farmer, State Farm, Allstate, you know, they don't have any other options for you. When they increase rates, you know, statewide, you, you take the ride right. um, with the carrier. Um, whereas with a true independent, to to that's company, it. Yeah, with a true independent, hey, this carrier is going up 10%. Let's see what else is out right. there for you. And we can actually handle that transition for the right. client. Makes yep. sense. Absolutely. Makes sense. Same with, we, we do the same with our financial advisors so that we, we're not lumped into, you know, one package. So we've got many options. That's it. You don't want to be married to you know one one specific carrier. Right. Well, I'm sure your information is going to be tagged to this post somewhere. But sure. If you want to go ahead, web address. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so really easy. Just did this. Um, Thegooseheadguy.com. Um, if you go to thegooseheadguy.com, you will go directly to my agent website. Um, you can request a quote. Um, you can see you know my background. Um, you know my team. And, uh, and what Goosehead is all about and what the choices we have for you. And uh, we'd love to help. 903-534-5800 is our direct number. Um, you know, we're, we're just a, a sales team in the office. We've got 75 licensed agents that stand behind all of our Goosehead policies. Uh, they handle the service aspect 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Um, our phones are forwarded on the weekends. So if a client has an emergency on the weekend, you know, they can call us and get a hold of us and say, hey, we've got a problem and, and we can help them through that process. So, yeah, thegooseheadguy.com, 903-534-5800. We are on uh, Old Jacksonville Highway um, by Brookshire's Fresh inside Keller Williams Realty. So we, we greatly appreciate everybody that was able to tune in, may watch this later. Hope you learned something. If you've got questions, put them in the comments. Let us know. We'll try to answer them right away. may turn into a whole other segment. We'll try to get in another professional like Colin here to come in and answer those for you live. Um, so we understand that roofing and home ownership for that matter and insurance of all of that is a very big deal and can sometimes get complicated. But there are experts out there in every field and we're going to try to bring that information and education to you. Um, We'll continue to bring folks in like Colin. Thank you for coming in. Absolutely. Thanks uh, for having as me. As always, uh, stonewaterroofing.com. If there's anything we can do from you on any level, we are the insurance specialist. We do consider ourselves uh, the, the specialist in town because we do things the right way, not just by the customer, but also by the insurance agent. Amen. That way we all stay on the up and up. They're happy to take care of you. We're happy to, to get it done right. 
Um, after just under 10 years, we've made it to the number one roofing company in East Texas, including the DFW area, and we're super proud of that. We want to continue serving our customers, and that's the only way we've done it, is by customer service, using quality products, not absorbing deductibles, having the money to put a good roof on your home, and take care of you. Um, our phones are also forwarded after hours and on the weekends, so if you ever had an emergency, whether we've done your roof before or you're a new customer, don't hesitate to give us a call, 903-266-1205, and uh, that call will get forwarded to a project manager on the spot to take care of it. So, stonewaterroofing.com, give us a call if we can do anything for you. The Goosehead Guy, right? Or yeah. The, the, or just Goosehead the Guy. The Goosehead Guy. The Goosehead Guy. Dot com. All right. Thank you all.